Hey, what's up, guys? Wix Android HD here, and tonight I will show you the latest version of Slim LP. LP stands for Lollipop, of course. Just to show you, Slim LP Android version 5.1.1. I'm running this ROM on my Galaxy S4, and it is unofficial. It's it's an unofficial release. Slim 5.1.1 beta 0.9. Even though it's an unofficial release, I can tell you, I've been playing this uh, with uh, from uh, for about 20 minutes or so, and I must admit I'm pretty impressed with the stability of this ROM and how it performs. Well, thinking in mind that this is this was really made for being uh, to be, it was made to be really depleted, even though it's a uh, a ROM based on Cyanogen mode, it is even more debloated than CM12. I have flashed the gaps, the Oroma gaps, um, zip into recovery, and I have to, I had to choose what which uh, gaps I want to install. So these are the ones that I that I chose. Take a look. Okay, so. We'll do some speed tests, some stability tests, and uh, from uh, the first view, as you may see, this ROM benefits of uh, a custom wallpaper, pretty fine wallpaper uh, that will get into your mind. And if you use slim ROMs back in the future, back in the past, you will already know that this is the default one that comes with every. Slim ROM. This uh, gives me the ability to get into the past and to remember that I have been using this kind of ROM, Slim ROMs, since I was on the Galaxy S1. And I had to tell you guys, I have, I really have to tell you, these ROMs were rock stable and the fastest ROM on market uh, on the period. Right now, I'm here to show you that uh, they haven't changed a lot in terms of speed and stability. It remained the same, a smooth and uh, great ROM. So we're gonna browse. Uh, we're gonna be browsing through some apps, and we're gonna start uh, by. I'm gonna start by showing you the how the um, recent app panel looks like. Um, if you're familiar with this side uh, recent app side panel from other ROMs like Resurrection, like AICP, like I don't know maybe GDC team or even CM CM ROMs and uh, I have to tell you that you didn't know this was originally invented by these developers that made Slim Slim ROMs so this is uh, intitulated like that slim recent bar. Another another feature that uh, was uh, firstly developed by Slim was the Slim Pie by Slim developers was the Slim Pie Slim Pie this feature, which works really great on this ROM. As you may see, you can access uh, tons uh, of pretty fine uh, shortcuts, but you can customize them by yourself, and you can even get back or get in the home screen or even get into the recent app panel like this and by doing so it's more fast to get into home for example into the home menu that's uh, if you don't have uh, the capacitive buttons so let's get into the tweaking uh, the graphical tweaking part the personalization part of this ROM as you may see we have a separate um, category here called personalization we get into the interface and uh, since this ROM is very minimalistic the settings are also uh, made in that manner a minimalistic a minimalistic manner so quick settings these are the quick settings if you were wondering these tiles here are the quick settings and uh, you can uh, I, I'm sh really sure you saw that before. You can customize your tiles by adding as uh, 
as many tiles as you want like from starting from adb over network to ending with usb tethering i've set up my pretty fine my beloved ones you can enlarge first row so it may look like this or it may look really flat for for icons per, per column sorry to icons per column and uh, for icons per row or tiles you can you can uh, either uh, choose to vibrate on touch the tiles should you vibrate on touch or you can just disable it you can show brightness slider so if you don't want it and you want your brightness to remain the same you can deactivate it and the uh, notification bar will look even cleaner show brightness lighter okay advanced location settings quick pull down so if you want to quick pull down your your notification bar you will be doing like this but you have if you have this deactivated you can only see the notification like that so that's pretty interesting I so I'm really sure you saw this before so this isn't great news uh, speaking about clock and day, the same features that comes with every Cyanogen mode base ROM. You can set it to center or left or right positioning. Um, battery icon status style you can set up notification ticker to you know to give you some really nice animation while you receive an, a notification. I'm gonna test this later while I will receive an SMS from my carrier. Number okay. Double tap to sleep can double tap notification bar to go to sleep like this and let's see the lock screen this is how the lock screen looks everything works perfectly camera app this is the camera app either way okay you can take a photo and by sliding left you will get in the photo itself okay network activity arrows so I don't know if you can see them but they will be if there is any network activity you will see them over the Wi-Fi uh, actually into the Wi-Fi icon and in uh, near on the top of the mobile data icon double tap to sleep check that double check that recent tap panel this is where we got so slim recent tap panel they told you if you deactivate this you will get a default one from Google which looks like this okay only show running apps max load apps and expanded desktop speaking of navigation we'll get into the slim pie as i told you which is this option i really like the way th the fastness of it so it pops up really fast hardware buttons you can customize them as always a navigation bar which is this one if you don't have as I told you before capacitive buttons um, either way these are default these are the default uh, uh, settings categories that come with every um, CM ROM uh, you'll get some dev tools, developer options, and uh, that is pretty much it, I think. So let's see how fast it does up the number. So I'll get 415 as always, and we're gonna click that number. Yep, had some little lag there, but not such a big deal. We should be fine either way. Let's uh, see just how it looks on the, on the lock screen. So as you may see, the LED is flashing. So that means I received the message. So this is the message credit info. You can do like that to see the entire message, and then you can click reply or to reply to your message, or you can just open the messenger app in order to see it. 
okay so yeah so guys let's open up let's make a speed test as I told you you've already checked the stability so no force closes still now every app is working as it should be so let's open all these apps and then multitask between them so audio FX calculator calendar Chrome yeah Chrome I think we'll need to configure this except and continue anyway clock uh, dev tools downloads drive email gallery inbox keep maps messenger maps Google Play Store it was all already in memory let me focus settings see to be then YouTube of course so these are all the apps opened new navigation done YouTube app these are all the apps that I have uh, opened I mean, from audio FX really fast you know what let's use the slim slim pie in order to get there so messenger to see how fast we can change between apps so again uh, calendar okay Google Chrome yeah so it doesn't give you okay any kind of you know big big delay time this is normal and by but but any means um, I have to tell you I'm pretty impressed with this ROM and its smoothness and um, that's what I wanted to say about slim ROMs they haven't changed they are still the best and uh, yeah that's pretty much it i think so thank you for watching guys if you like this video please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel wicked uh, android is out guys bye bye